Imagine there is a gap. Okay, there is a gap in front of you. And we need to get to this goal, this goal of AC. Okay, and for each problem that we do in competitive programming to solve it, we got to jump over this gap. Now, it could be very difficult to see this gap, very difficult to see this implementation, something really hard, but we got to jump over the gap. Now, for some problems, they're very easy. You know, you could just see the gap as they're so small and you could just pass right through them. It's just like walking. You know, we just have to walk through the gap and then now we're AC'd. But some other problems are just so hard. You know, the gap is just so large. There's too huge. There's so many. Just It's just so hard to jump. And sometimes, you know, you just get stuck in the middle. There's just so many gaps and you're just so tired after doing the jumping over the first gap. So using this psychological analysis of this, this, this type of phenomenon in competitive programming, you know, some people, they're just born with strong legs. You know, they could just so fast. They jump really hard, really easily, and they get to Division One so fast after a couple of weeks of just starting. They're just born with high jumping ability, you know. They, they jump over average gaps easily. Now, of course, if you keep jumping every single day, you jump as hard as you can, sooner or later, you be become better at jumping. And you must become some better at jumping through these gaps. And by solving more difficult problems in less time, since you don't have that much mental preparation or warm-ups before jumping, we can sooner or later, we could jump to AC. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is just a, uh, this is just, this is just a video explaining the science of competitive program that I saw from this article from I Love Huang Yen. And it's also a question posted on Quora. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.